Hi, I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates and Flow with Mira. This is the second video of a series of classes that were originally created for Bassi Pilates YouTube channel. This is the intermediate level where we'll be practicing some intermediate exercises from Bassi Pilates. I have structured this class in a Bassi flow style where one exercise flow to another, creating a smooth fluid class and following the Bassi block system. The Bassi flow mat is a signature of Bassi Pilates created by Ryal Isokowitz. No equipment is needed, just a mat and commit to yourself. This is a perfect class if you have been practicing Pilates at intermediate level for quite some time. So when you're ready, come and join me on a mat. We're going to start seated. We're going to face the front of the mat. Have your legs in a diamond leg curl like position, arms underneath the thighs. We're just going to take a moment here. Right, sitting nice and tall. I want you to find that sitting bone. I want you to perch yourself on the top of the sitting bone. Gaze is forward. Let's breathe in. And now let's breathe out. And let's do two more times of that. Inhale. Exhale. Allow yourself to arrive in the room. One more. Allow yourself to arrive on the mat. Let's do some spinal roll down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to tip the head down and allow the body to roll down to wherever you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Inhale. Exhale. Can we roll up again from the base of the spine to the tip of the spine? And gaze is forward. Let's do two more times there. Inhale. And exhale. Just observe. Is there any part of your back feeling a little tight today? Maybe you need to put a little bit more focus on. In breath. Exhale, we roll up. And upright position. Let's do one more time. And we roll down. Roll down. In breath. And we roll up again. And sitting nice and tall. Taking your arms out to the side, keeping them in your peripheral vision. I want you to just stretch your arm as far as possible, spreading the scapula away, keeping that spine again nice and tall. Just take a moment here, inhale. Exhale, allow your arms and the shoulder to rest down in that shoulder girdle. Neck is long. One more. Exhale, taking your arms forward in front of you, in front of the shoulder. Bring your feet on the floor and your knees pointing up. Have your feet hip width apart. I'd like you to spread your feet on the mat. Again, lift the trunk. Take an inhale. As you exhale, let's flex the spine into a C curve position. We're going to round that back, pulling the abdominal towards the lumbar spine and reaching the arms away from the shoulder. We inhale, come back into that upright position. Two more times. Exhale. Spinal flexion. Arms reaching forward. But I want you to still think about length. Lengthening the spine away, even though you're in flexion. And inhale. Upright. One more. Exhale. How can we stretch that lower back? Can we reach the arms a little bit more? But keep the length in the spine. Keep the inner thighs active. And then inhale. Upright. Now let's move on. 
grounding the back into the C curve. Now we're going to roll back. Can we bring that sacrum melting on the floor? The lower back. Bring the lower back on the floor. If you can, inhale, hold. Exhale, can we come up again? Peeling the spine. Going into that C curve. And bringing the spine upright. Let's do two more times. Exhale, rounding. We roll back, sacrum melting, lower back melting, chest is open, neck is long, inhale, exhale, can we come up again, pull the abdominal wall in, over, bring your shoulder over your hips, and then bring your body upright, and exhale, we round, this is the last one, and we're going to roll back, roll back, sacrum melting, lower back melting, just into the chest lift position. Let's hold that. Let's bring the feet closer towards your bottom. Have them still hip width apart. Can we square the pelvis? Make sure they're even. And then we're going to lower the arms and lower the chest. Taking a moment here to arrive on the mat. Your pelvis is in neutral. Your spine is in neutral. Your arms are long and they're active on the floor. Your inner thighs are active too. Let's move on to a pelvic curl. Take an in breath. Exhale. Can we draw the abdominal in to imprint the lower back? The tailbone comes up. And then we're going to peel the spine up with the hamstrings and the abdominal. And then arrive right at the top, your glutes are working here. Your inner thighs are working here. Your arms are reaching towards your feet. In breath. Exhale. Can we melt? Rib cage, mid back, lower back. Keep your inner thigh active. Sacrum. And back to the neutral pelvis. Let's do it again. Exhale. Abdominal drawing in to imprint the lower back. And then let's peel the spine up. Hamstrings are working, my abdominal is working. No, my glutes are working at end, my inner thighs are working. You know what, let's just hold it for a second. Make sure you have a nice straight line from the shoulder to the hips, to the knees. Your energy is reaching out from your thigh towards the knees. In breath, exhale, let's roll it down. Melting the spine. Take it all the way back to the neutral pelvis and neutral spine. Let's do one more time. We breathe out, can we imprint? Can we go a little higher than before? And can we take the pelvis up, 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 hold, in breath. Now as you exhale, can we float your arms up and then roll the spine down simultaneously and then take your arms overhead and the pelvis right back to the neutral. Make sure you don't arch your upper back. Allow the mid back to rest on the floor in breath. Exhale. Can we curl up again? As you curl up, can we take your arms up? Move your arms all the way towards your feet side. Inhale. Exhale. Let's roll down. Let's float the arms again. Take it all the way overhead. And then feel that back lengthening on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, you roll up, curl the pelvis, take your arms all the way down towards the feet, in breath. Exhale, we roll down the spine, we take the arms overhead and then lengthen out, ribs are still anchoring down, inhale. Exhale, we roll up, arms down and in breath and exhale this time let's just take your right arm roll the spine down just the right arm floating and let's take the arm overhead let's pause here for a second i want you to stretch your right leg on the floor reach it out flex or dorsiflex the right foot reach the right arm away can you imprint that ribs down pulling the abdominal wall down reach out in breath and then exhale, let's drag the leg in and just drag the arm back down by the side of your pelvis. Let's roll the pelvis up again to the bridge. In breath, let's float the left arm as you roll the spine down. 
bring the arm overhead then we're gonna stretch the left leg on the floor dorsiflex the fruit can we open the left hip here can we imprint the left rib cage down can we draw the abdominal wall towards the floor we stretch out that left side and an exhale let's drag the leg back and the arm come back down let's do one more pelvic curl we roll up all the way high higher than before inhale and exhale let's roll down and float both arms take it just facing towards the ceiling and then release the pelvis to neutral and then turn the palms facing each other bring the legs together inner thighs are nice and tight squashed in the middle and let's do our supine spine twist modified i'm going to rotate to the right to start we're going to inhale your left shoulder still on the floor as i exhale and bring in the legs back to the center over to the left as i inhale the legs are going together as one unit my right shoulder is still anchor i'm going to feel a stretch on my right oblique here exhale drawing my right oblique to bring my leg back to the middle inhale over to the right left shoulders down exhale left oblique bringing the legs back to the middle and an inhale over to the left anchor my right shoulder exhale let's do one more set we go to the right as you inhale let's pause here and now when you exhale, open your left arm down, pressing to the floor. You can then turn your head towards the left arm. And as you exhale, bring the arm back, stabilize your center, and then pull the leg back to the middle. Inhale, over to the left. Let's pause, control it. Take my right arm onto the floor. You can rotate your head to the right side. And then pull the arm back and then lengthen not lengthen bring the leg back to the middle and let's hold floating one leg up to tabletop and then drawing the abdominal in second leg up to tabletop we're going to keep that shoulder stable let's go into your leg changes we're going to inhale lower the right foot down and then switch and then we switch and then we switch can we draw the abdominal wall deep towards the back and tap and tap let's do three more sets tap and two more sets and one more set and bringing both legs back to the tabletop and let's open the arms to the t position and then let's move on to a spine twist this time in the tabletop position let's go to the right as we inhale exhale center moving from the trunk exhale center and let's go two more times in breath and exhale and inhale to the left exhale last set right exhale keep the shoulder blades down on the floor and exhale center we lower one foot down second leg down and let's glide the arms overhead interlace the fingers at the back of the head all right you can have your feet hip width apart here so moving to ours chest lift we breathe out we draw the abdominal wall in and we lift the head and the shoulder Let's take your arms behind your thigh here as you inhale exhale can we come up a little higher now let's hold that height transfer your arms back behind your head and return we exhale and the arms inhale exhale can we lift up a little higher and an arms back and return exhale in breath exhale up inhale arms exhale down and again exhale inhale can we go a little deeper come up come up come up hold that height 
and transfer the hands back and we return. Let's go one more, exhale. And arms, and we'll lift, lift, lift. Now if you have tilt the pelvis up into posterior tilt or tuck your bum, can we bring the pelvis back to a neutral, or neutralist position here? Hold that chest, hands back, let's hold. Let's take one leg up to tabletop, and a second leg up to tabletop. Let's do some leg changes here. We're gonna go in, down, and then we switch, and then we switch. And exhale. Can we get that lower back to the floor? Can we pull the abdominal deep to the floor? And tip. We switch. And switch. Hold the height of the chest. Switch. Two more sets. Switch. Switch. Last set. Switch. And switch. Lower the foot back to the floor. Hands behind your thigh. Can we come up a little higher, higher? And then again, lengthen the pelvis down. If you have, lift the pelvis up, hold. Let's transfer the arms back behind the head. Now, let's add the rotation to the right. Inhale. This is chest lift with rotation. Inhale, center. Try not to lose the height of the chest here, guys. We're thinking flexion and rotation. Equally, lift and center. Your pelvis is stable and center. We twist, center. We twist. Let's do two more set. Twist, center, twist. Last set, center, and hold. Let's take your arms behind your thigh. Can we come up a little higher? Release the pelvis. If you have tucked it up, stretch the leg. Stretch the leg. Stabilize the pelvis. Make sure they're equal. And then release the head and the arms down. Let's float your arms overhead. Palms are facing each other. Moving on to our roll up here. So, we inhale, lift up. Exhale, can we melt the lower back? Oh, the first one is always hard. Coming into that C curve position, keeping that length in the spine, even though you are in flexion, in breath. Exhale, we roll back, sacrum, melting, lower back. And then let's take the arms overhead again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift up. Try to keep those arms parallel to the ground, guys. In breath, exhale, move from the base of the spine, your tailbone, your sacrum, lower back, and the arms go overhead. Again, we inhale, make sure the pelvis is even, and then exhale. I just have a tendency to hitch my right hip up, so I need to make sure that they are even, and then roll it back. Maybe you have your own habit. Trying to keep the pelvis square, lower back down, then the arms go overhead. And let's go again, inhale, lift. Melting the back as you come up, exhale. In breath. And exhale. Arms overhead, last one here. We inhale. Exhale, keep the length. Off your legs equal on both sides. In breath. And exhale. Rolling back, rolling back, rolling back. Let's take your arms overhead. Turn your palms facing the ceiling. Bring the feet in. Okay, float one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up to tabletop. Squeezing the inner thighs. Let's move on to hundreds preparation. We breathe out, we lift. Inhale, come on down. Exhale, we we'll lift. Inhale, let's do two more. Exhale, in breath. One more. Exhale. You know, let's stay here. Grab the back of your thighs. Can we come up a little higher? 
keeping the pelvis again as neutral as possible. Now take your arms by the side, stretch your legs to the ceiling. Stay here. We're gonna go straight to your hundreds in breath. We exhale, we pump. And inhale. And two. And in. Three. And four. And five. Now, can we lower the legs to whatever height you can still control? Your abdominal stabilize the pelvis. And out. And. And eight. And nine. And ten. Hold. Draw the knees in. Lower one foot down. Second one down. And we really stretch your left leg long on the floor. Let's take the right leg up to the ceiling. Now, let's glide your arms out to the T position. Flex, dorsiflex the right foot. And let's do some leg circle here. We inhale, circle for three, two, one. Reverse, three, two, one. And stay. Let's go to single leg circle. We inhale. And one circle. Exhale. Let's do six. Three. And. And five. And hold. Reverse. Out. Inhale. And two. Keep the pelvis stable. Three. And four. Two more. Five. And six. Stay. Point. Fall. Lower. Bring the other leg in. Stretch your right leg and let's bring the left leg to tabletop and stretch your leg up. Dorsiflex. Now let's go legs, sorry, ankle circle for three, two, one. The other way, three, two, one. Stay in dorsiflex. Now keep your leg parallel. Let's go across the body as you inhale and exhale on three. And exhale. I'm thinking my right hip anchoring down as heavy as I can. Stabilize the pelvis. Hold. Reverse. Out. In breath. And exhale. And in breath. And exhale. And two more. Exhale. Hold. Point. Bend the knee. Glide the leg out. Stretch your arms overhead, palms facing each other. Let's go into a roll up here. We inhale. Is my pelvis square? Nope. I'm just going to adjust that. There we go. And then exhale. And we roll up, roll up, roll up. Draw the feet in. Okay, moving on to rolling like a ball. So I want you to have your hands closer towards your ankle, not on your ankle, above it. I want you to use your arm muscle, your bicep, to bring your legs or your feet closer towards your bottom. You're balancing on your tailbone here, right? You gaze towards your center. Your spine is long, even though you're in flexion. So try not to slouch here. Let's do eight of this. We inhale, we roll back to shoulders, exhale. Inhale, can we keep the shape? Exhale. My arms are working hard here to not let my legs to fling out. Inhale. And exhale. And in breath. And exhale. I think we got three more. And exhale. And two. And exhale. Last one here. And exhale. Balance, balance, balance. Shoulders easy. I'm tensing them for no reason. And exhale. Lower the feet down. And I just want you to lengthen the back. Just stretch it out. We've been in flexion for a while. Keep the spine long. Shoulders nice and open. Okay. Now. 
Let's take one leg to tabletop. We're moving on to abdominal series. Another leg in tabletop, hands underneath the knee. Here, we're balancing on your tailbone. Can we roll down here? Very slowly. So, inhaling, prepare. Exhale, we're going to curl the sacrum. Curl the lumbar. And try not to fall. Roll the spine. Roll it down. Three, two, one. And bring the knees slightly in for your double leg stretch. Hands on the knee. Can we come up a little higher? Use your arm to lift the chest. Neck is long. And we go. We inhale. Arms and legs stretching out. Exhale. Pull it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Can we keep that lower back on the floor? Using your abdominal door, not using your glute. Exhale. We inhale. Reach. And exhale. And try to keep the height of the chest with you. Take your arms long. Exhale. Two more. Reach. Exhale. Last one. And stay. Hands on the right knee. Extend the left leg for a single leg stretch. Can we come up a little higher? And make sure those feet are at the same height, so not one too low or too high. Keep them the same height. Right, now we switch. Let's do 10. Exhale. And two. And three. Keeping my head off my chest. And five. And six. Seven. Eight, nine, last whole ten. I got my right knee bent. Now I'm gonna take my right hand behind my head, rotating my trunk. Can we lift a little higher? We're moving on to crisscross. Oh, my legs not on the same height. Can we keep them the same height? Take my left hand behind my head and let's do another ten. We twist, keeping the height of my chest. Two and three. My pelvis is stable. And five. Six, seven, we twist eight, nine, we got ten, hold, come back to the middle, legs and tabletop, straighten the legs, can we grab the back of your thigh, can we come up a little higher? Now lower the right leg down, sorry this is my left leg, lower my left leg down, my right leg stays up, hands behind my calf, can we pull the leg closer? For your hamstring, pull one. Shall we? Double breath. We switch. I'm reaching my left leg long. Reaching my right leg long. And. And. Let's do two more sets. Last set. Last one, hold that, stretching my right leg long. Can we take the left leg down? Arms up forward. All right, make sure pelvis is even. Inhale, exhale, can we come up? Roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, and lift the spine tall. Can we just take your arms up to the ceiling? Just gonna stretch your abdominal, let's flex the feet. Reach it out, lengthening out, in breath. <sighs> Exhale, and take your arms down. Okay, guys, let's move on to a spine stretch. So I'm just go back to my center here. Now I have my feet just slightly wider than my pelvis. Oh, you can keep it pelvis hip width apart. Take my arms forward. My spine is nice and long here. I'm not tipping to the front or slouching my back. I'm really keeping my upright alignment and I'm perching my sits bone on the mat. We in breath, we exhale, we articulate the spine. We're gonna roll down. I'm keeping my spine long even though I'm in flexion. We stay and inhale, exhale, lifting up, rolling up, upright alignment, in breath, exhale, rolling down. And tip a little bit forward, in breath. Exhale, we roll it up. And let's go again. Exhale, 
we articulate down just tip forward you can feel a little bit more of that hamstring inhale exhale if straight legs is too challenging for you you may bend your knees a little bit but keep that priority in keeping the alignment upright okay i'm gonna stretch my leg because i'm able to inhale let's do two more here exhale so your priority here is your spine and just modify your leg position as you need to exhale we roll up again upright upright taller than before one more and exhale we roll down in breath exhale we roll up 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 can we take your arms up just for a sec lengthening the spine reaching up nice and tall inhale exhale reach and let it go let's bend the knees we're going to move on to our open leg rocker but we're going to do a modified version first and then we're going to do the textbook one so feet together now you're balancing on your tailbone not on the sit bone now i want you to lengthen the spine so your back extensors are working here my shoulders are open my inner thighs are also working so i don't want them to split out to the side okay so here nice and tall to start and now from there let's do four of this we're going to inhale we're going to roll to the shoulder and we're going to come back and lift the back and again rounding rolling forward lift and lift two more rounding inhale and lift 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 one more and round it and forward lengthening the back my extensors are working my shoulders are open my neck is long let's hold can we stretch the legs to do a little textbook open leg rocker to wherever you can to your maximum straight leg now arms are working hard here my extensors are working, my abdominals are also working here. Can we do six here? Shall we? We inhale, we roll. And then forward. Back is working. And again, two. And then forward. Lifting. And we got three. And forward. And we lift. And four. And forward. We lift even more two more five and up last one and forward and let's hold here hold here can we bring the legs together squeezing them tight even though they're not straight that's all right do whatever you can now can we take your arms off hold it can we take your arms next to your ears we're just gonna hold here for five, your extensors, your back are working, your abs are working, your hip flexors are crying, you're working. Three, two, one, good job. Bend the knees, stretch it out, arms back. Well done. Right, I'm just gonna adjust myself here and let's move on to our back support. So your feet can be slightly apart here. My arms are long behind me. Now I have a tendency to hyperextend my elbow, so I'm going to trying to think about contracting my bicep and my triceps equally, so I'm not going to hyperextension here. So I hope I'm doing it. Take an in breath. And exhale, pressing up. Neck is long. Hips high. And coming down. And again, press up. Open up the chest. My gaze is towards the ceiling, slightly diagonal though. And I hinge down. And again, lift up. Long neck, hips high. Let my hip extensors are working here. And coming down. Two more. And we press up. And we go down. As you go down, I want you to keep that proud chest action, okay? One more, lifting up, 
opening up the hip. Can we go high on the pelvis? Open the shoulder, neck is long. And as you go down, keep the chest proud. Proud, proud, proud. Well done. Cross the leg. Hands are forward. Let's go to a quadruped position. Now I want to have that shoulder and your hands aligned. Your abdominal wall is drawing in. Your back of sense is working. And let's stretch. I'm stretching my left leg here. My left leg is extended out. Now I'm thinking, drawing my abdominal in. I'm thinking, bringing my pelvis slightly posterior. My hamstrings are working. But my back of sense is still working hard here. Hold. And then I'm going to join my right leg out to my front support position. Let's draw the abdominal in. Chest is forward, your extensors are working. And let's bring the right leg in. We exhale and stretch it up. And the left, and in breath. Right, in breath. Left, in breath. Right, in breath. Left, in breath. Right, out, left, and out. In, let's do two more sets, right, and left, last set, right, and left, stretch the leg, pull up the belly, keep the extensors working, and then can we lift the pelvis up into a little up stretch position here, shoulders are spreading, neck is long, and we lower the heel down, a little stretch, in breath. I'm trying to lengthen my sitting bone away from my spine as, my, as I reach my heel down to the floor. So I get my hamstrings and my calf stretch here and spreading my shoulder wide. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to bend the knees here and we're going to look forward and in count of three we're going to jump the feet to between the hands. So we go three, two, and forward. Sit down, feet forward, hip width apart, arms are forward, and we roll back, roll back, roll back, bring the feet closer towards your bottom for your pelvic curl position here. I want to have a balanced pelvis here. All right, and then come on down. Let's go to a shoulder bridge prep here. So we breathe out. And print the lower back using the abdominal. And then we're going to peel the spine up, up, up. Ho. Oh, let's have the right leg up to tabletop. And from there, we're going to lower tap and an up. We go tap and up. Let's do eight, three, and up. Try not to drop the right hip down and up. And five, up, six. Up, two more. Up, last one. Hold and lower that foot down. Reestablish the pelvis. And then when you're ready, let's take the left leg up to tabletop. Stabilize the pelvis. Don't let the left hip drop. We go down and we lift. We go eight and lift. And on three. And four. And five. On six, oh, I'm dropping my left hip. I'm going to take it up. Seven. Last one. Hold. Take my foot down. Establish my position. And we roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down. I'm going to stretch my legs long. Take my arms overhead for the roll ups. We inhale. And exhale. We come up. We come up, we come up, and now here, can we bring a body up right? Just adjust the bottom. Okay, Dorsey flex the feet, arms open to the side, moving to our spine twist here. Your back is long, right here. Let's go to the right, double breath. Inhale, left, and Keeping your legs quiet. I'm moving from my spine here. Toe. 
I'm growing even taller if I can. In breath. One more set. Last one. And stay. Can we take your arms up? Palms facing each other. Can we lift the spine even more? Allow the shoulder to rest down. Let's do some shoulder flexion here. We'll take the arms back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open the arms and open your legs. Again, hip width apart, slightly wider. Let's move on to our soma. Palms are facing forward. All right, here, I'm going to my right. Twist, move the arms, hinge forward. And then as you come up, my right arm moves to the side of my body, my left arm open my body, turn. So the back is so, twist, arm. We hinge forward, keep the neck long. As I come up, left arm open to the side, right arm open, body moves to center. We inhale, and forward, and arm move, arm move, body, and twist, arm, we hinge, and move the arm, move the arm, and the body, one more set, arm, we hinge, and arm, arm center, last one, twist, arm, we hinge, and up, and center, bring the legs together, Arms are forward, round back. Let's roll back. Let's do the roll down. We roll, roll, we roll. Take your arms by the side. Make sure your pelvis is square. And then head goes down. Let's move on to our corkscrew here. So we take one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up to tabletop. We extend both legs long to the ceiling here. Make sure the feet are at the same height. All right, let's move to the right first. We tilt and away and center. We go to the left, we twist and then down over to the right and center and right and away, left and center. We go to the left. Can we get the shoulder blades down on the floor? And right and away and center to the left. And swing it away and center. One more set to the right. Swing it to the left and center. Last one. The legs are going as one unit here, guys. And center. Bend the knee and just hug the leg back. Inhaling. Exhale. All right. Lower the feet. Lower the feet. I'm going to stretch my left leg long. My left arm overhead, I'm going to turn myself towards you for my side lying position. In fact, for my side kick. So, right, so coming up onto your elbow. Now, I want you to have a nice long leg. Now, try to stack, not try. You need to be able to stack the hips together, aligned, meant. Now, your elbow, your bottom elbow, slightly away from the shoulder. I'm gonna create a nice line from the shoulder, from the elbow, all the way to the other elbow. And I'm gonna take my arm, my forearm up, into my triangle position. I'm hoping that you're not slouching on your ribs. I want you to lengthen the top hip so you can lift and support and have the support from the underneath side. All right, for the side kick, we take the leg up, we flex the foot. Let's do eight of here. We exhale. Inhale. On two. On three. Five. Six. Two more. Last one. 
and stay back, reach away, reach away, lengthen away, lower your forearm down, your bottom forearm. Can we stretch the top arm away? Just stay here for a little stretch here. Now I'm thinking, I'm reaching my back leg to open my hip. I'm reaching my arm away from the shoulder. I'm pulling my arm and the leg away from each other. I'm pushing the floor away with my bottom forearm. Staying inhale, exhale. And let's bring the leg together. If you have space, let's swing the leg around. If not, just turn over to the other side. Okay, so we got my elbow away from my shoulder. Straight line from the elbow to the other elbow, reaching my hip away. And let's get into that triangle pose. Flex the top foot. And we go forward. We go eight. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, last, stay back, stay back, stay back, forearm down, reach the top arm away. We're going to pull the arm and the leg away from each other. I'm going to feel the stretch in my front of my top hip, which is my left side. Inhale, reach out, reach out, lengthen out, and bring them together. And let's go into our forearm, sorry, your front. Onto your forearm for your single leg kick position. So, here I'm spreading my shoulders wide. Getting my shoulder blades to anchor down, to lengthen down to my mid back. My neck is long. Can I, or can you, draw that sitting bone or lengthen sitting bone down towards your feet? Can we draw that pubic bone up and the lower abs up towards your heart here? So you're supporting the lower back. You're not sinking that lower back down. And then we're going to lift both legs up. So your hip extensors are working here. And then we'll start. Exhale. And inhale. And. And inhale. And two more set. And last set. And stretch my legs long. My hip extensors are working here. Now, can we bring them a little closer together? It doesn't have to be together, just a little closer. Hold the hip extensor. Can we lower the chest? Lower, lower. I'm gonna turn my head towards my left, my right cheek on the floor. And interlacing my hands for the double leg kick. Can we bring the legs together? My hip extensors are still working here. And then we go, triple kick. And then we lengthen, lift the arms off your bottom. And then over to the other side. And then lengthen. Keep going guys, I'm just gonna adjust my leg. And we go. Inhale, reach, lengthen, lengthen. Again. And keeping the neck long here, lengthening up. And again, kick, two, three, and we lift up. And we kick, two, three, and lift, two, three. Last set, two, three, and lift, reach up. Last one, two, three, and lift. We hold the hip extensors. Can we circle the arms forward? Circle, circle. Circle, separate the leg. Keep your head between your arms. Let's move to our swimming. We in breath for five. Exhale. Let's just do five sets. Inhale. Exhale. On three. On four. And five. Hold. And lower. Bring your forearm underneath your shoulder and then pull the belly and push yourself up onto the rest position. 
staying here in breath. And exhale. Let's do two more breath. And one more. And and let's roll the body up. We're not done yet. Almost there. Let's go to our teaser prep. And then we're going to do a seal puppy. So let's just do four teaser prep here. Hands underneath the thigh. We're going to balance on your tailbone. Draw that lower abs in. We're not slouching. Our back is just still working here. One leg up, tabletop. Second leg up, tabletop. Hold. Arms are forward. My hip flexors are working. My abdominals are working. My pack sensors are working. The end. We roll down. As you breathe out, breathe out. Can we articulate that spine? And we inhale. We come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Tall. Three more. Exhale. Abdominal, 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 abdominal. Inhale, abdominal, hip flexors, hip flexors, back extensors. Two more, abdominal, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in. Inhale, coming up. And one more, and roll it down. And we inhale. You know what? And then can we grab the legs and your ankle or your calf? Can we stretch your legs long? Can we again lengthen the back so your back essentials are working hard here? Can we hold that position? Can we take your arms off? Can we balance? For the teaser one position, we're not doing teaser one, we're just gonna hold it for three, two, one, and we'll take it down. Good job. All right. Last one, feel puppy, and then we're finished. We're done. All right, so elbow underneath the knee, palm over the foot, and the other one, two, and there. Again, balancing in your tailbone. Now make sure the knees are not too wide. You want to have the inner thighs working still. Your gaze is towards your center or in between the legs. Whoop, we'll stay. And now let's do six of this. We're going to roll back and we clap two, two, three, and then forward. Clap one, two, three, and then back. One, two, three, and forward. Inner thigh, inner thigh, inner thigh, and then back. Moving from the hip as you clap. Clap, 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 and then back. Clap, 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 and then forward. Clap, I lost count, guys. Two more sets, I think. Clap, clap, clap. And then forward, clap, 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 and the last set, clap, 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 and the last one, clap, clap, clap. Good job. Lower the feet. And we come back to the position we started. So have your legs in a diamond position. Hands underneath the thigh. Keeping the spine long. Shoulders wide, take an in breath. As you exhale, let's roll the spine. And just let go of the arms and let the arms be in front of the feet. Keep the arms long. Go as low as you can. Inhale, exhale, let's roll it up. And bring the arm with you underneath the thigh again. We go one more time. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, roll the spine. And let's take your arms forward with you. And in breath. Exhale, roll it up. And up, and up, and tall. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. I hope you had a great class. Please comment and subscribe to Bassi YouTube channel. We have a variety of classes from talented Bassi Pilates teacher from around the world. I hope to see you on the mat again. Have a great day and take care.